So, the tunnel. Uh, I guess what the only thing we can do is... Alright, look at the water, look at these pipes. The hole. Huh. Look. You peer into the darkness from the distance and you hear a sound like the ocean. It says jump. Let's, let's jump. Let's see what we're doing. We dive into the big black hole. We fall for what seems like hours. Falling, falling. This might have been a mistake. No. I'm gonna have to retry that. Back at the parking lot. Oh no! Okay. Remember to not jump into that hole. Okay, about halfway through, you wonder if you'll make it. Alright. So let's go into the end of the tunnel. Still in nerves and push on. This wash runs behind many of the houses and your street. You can usually find all sorts of weird junk that people have gone on there. Like this shoe. Okay, you take it in your hands. Yeah. Wheel. Spin. Spinning with one hand seems fine. Chimney. Why is the chimney there? Huh? Move, move where? Deep pool. Getting down on your knees, you put one arm into the pool of water. It's the icy chill clings to your skin and as you reach further down. The water rises past your elbow. So have hit bottom. You take a deep breath and press on, reaching down, down. The water laps against your shoulder. Reach left and right, but can't feel anything but water. You start to imagine a hand gripping your wrist and yanking you down beneath the cold surface. It's almost real, the sensation of bony fingers wrapping around you, tightening the pull, rushing towards your face. Take a desperate breath and hold it, clenching your eyes shut. Almost later, you realize it's your imagination. You cast and pull your arm out, soft to let unharmed. You look around to make sure nobody saw that. The coast seems clear. several large gasps and try to come down. A dog attacked as soon as you enter your neighborhood. Thank goodness it's on a leash. Damn, that dog. I hate, I hate those dogs. They're so... They look like a cloud. Okay, so where can we go now? Hmm? Let's go this way. Creep on the side of your fence into the backyard. Wait, this is our fence? This is your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat, a peaceful, quiet blanket, the enclosure. You can take the dino, you can um, take the toy truck, and you can take the spade. I bet we can't put any more stuff in that, in that bag. Put your hands to the dirt and roll around, school to the touch, but you aren't finding anything of interest. Yeah. So... Oh, look. Ooh, there's a cola can. Shake. A spare keys. Ooh. Take. Take the spare key. You... you back out of the hole. Let's open that door. Oh, hold on, is this, is this the key for the... Yes. It won't fit there? So it's not the same key. Where? Can we go to the down there? They don't look quite uh, how you left it. For example, there's an enormous creepy mansion where your house should be. Oh, right. Let's go this way. Used to be my house. Oh. Let's twist the windows portals to madness. This is your dress, but this is definitely not the home you left this morning. Can we go upstairs? Hold on. I should use that key though. 
Yes, it worked. So, you key into the lock and cross your fingers. She turned the key and the opener of the door open. Maybe it's her house after all. Let's let's go inside. You pull open the heavy door and enter the house. This is without a doubt not your house. Mom should never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. Wow. So we got we can go up there, we can go upstairs. There's this door. Please? There's a strange energy around it. I'm assuming it's locked for the time being. Let's go to the archway. You hurry across the foyer to the dining room. You step into the dining room and spring back, immediately noticing a woman at the table. She eyes you intently, like a hawk searching for a prey. Oh, eh, no, no, thank you. Prune juice. Uh, no, I'm okay. I don't. I don't like prune juice anyway. Um, chair. Can we go this way? You duck into the kitchen. This looks like a beer piece from a time you want nothing to do with. And you notice a dripping sound. You hear the source of the dripping. It's so faint it will be hard to find. So, you struggle to think of ways to make it louder, you want to track down the drip, but you need to increase its volume. Under the sink. There's a damage. There must be a leak somewhere, this is some serious water damage. Hmm, what could I use? Can we use that head? <laughs> You hold the shrunken head forward and feel it vibrate slightly in your hand. You go increasingly dizzy, and you put it away. Take the dish soap. Ooh, we can we can put more stuff, okay. Now we can add the sponge. Hmm, what else can I use? I definitely need to need a screwdriver for that. Alright. Let's go back. Let's look at that sink. A very modern sink. Ooh, we got a talisman. Take the talisman. And maybe I can ward off some of this weirdness. What else can we look? fridge open the fridge get that jelly jam oh no more prune juice well no it's purple stuff but you you're not gonna drink it but you find yourself taking the juice anyway clicking oh the dishwasher it would only bring you chores there will be a time later. Yep. Okay. Let's let's go this let's go this way. Mm hmm. Back with that strange woman. Wait, we can take the tackle place. We can only take one. Talk. The crown. A toothy green springed across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Fixjinx. Come give me a big kiss. Um, no. No, no way. You're not sure what to say. Shake your head. Is that any way to treat your Aunt Dahlia? I'll apologize. You're right. That's okay, child. Sit down and have some prune juice. Your loving aunt saved for you. I feel like I might lose, so I'm gonna decline that prune juice. I'm not thirsty. Maybe later. Right, she relaxes and rests her chin casually in her hand. So how was school today? Yeah. 
Uh, I'll, I'll give her the deeds. There's a lot going on. For a while. There's this kid Brandon in my English class. But lately he's telling people things that aren't true. You ramble on for several minor, more minutes. Yeah, you know that. Blah, blah, blah. Just tell me to my face. I don't have time for all the drama. What's this? Why, why am I getting these messages? Got to a sympathetic, sympathetic ear. You begin to go fight and now doubt. Skipped again. After a very through day session of your social circle, you realize you haven't given Aunt Dahlia any time to interject. Fancy place, Matt railed with the lace. Far too upscale for any of your family dinners. Let her speak. Uh, yes. We take a break. Creating a natural point for the woman to jump in with comments. What do you think? It sounds very stressful. Clear my head with a refreshing beverage. Prune juice? Ah, oh, come on. No, I'm not taking that prune juice. I know it made it sound pretty bad, but everyone is mostly okay. It's just once in a while. She's asleep. Snoring fact, you weigh your options. Let 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 the poor aunt sleep. Damn. Okay, free of the woman's uncomfortable gaze, you turn your attention back to the room. Now where where were you? Not even I know where why where I was, so if I go this way. I leave the dining room. Oh, we're back here. Three children materialize before your eyes, which are which are rubbing in disbelief. This really is a haunted house. Okay, 